Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm gonna show you how to perfectly pan sear skin on and skin off fresh fish. Pan searing fish definitely has a reputation for being difficult, but I promise you it's way easier than you may have thought. And while there are a couple of different ways you can do it, I'm gonna show you my foolproof procedures for perfectly pan seared skin on or skin off fish, starting with skin on. Some great fish to cook with skin on are snapper, flounder, grouper, salmon, or bass, among many others. We are gonna be cooking up some red snapper today. And the first thing you wanna do is pat it dry very well on both sides with a paper towel to ensure it doesn't stick. Next, we wanna score the fish, making several slits all the way up the filet on that skin side. But you wanna be careful because the second you cut through that skin, you want to stop so you don't cut the fish in half. Doing this will stop the fish from curling up when it's cooking. Then we want to season it on both sides with salt and pepper. And when it comes to pans, you can use anything, stainless steel, cast iron, or even a nonstick skillet. And for oil, the choice is yours. I like olive oil, avocado oil, or even clarified butter. Any fat that you want to use is perfect for this. Now, let's add in our avocado oil to the stainless steel skillet. Turn the heat on to high. Once it begins to lightly smoke, we know it's time to pan sear. So we're gonna add in this red snapper skin side down. Let's immediately turn the heat down to medium high. We're also going to add in several pads of unsalted butter. This is going to help brown it up and make sure it doesn't stick. After about one to two minutes, we're just gonna come back. Let's shake the pan so that it easily releases from that bottom of the pan. It should not stick. This is why we make sure that oil is smoking hot first. We're only gonna cook this for a total of two to three minutes, then we're going to flip it over and cook it for a further two to three minutes. This fish is thin, it doesn't need much cooking time. You can also baste it after you'd flip it if you'd like. And really it is as simple as that. That same procedure we're gonna to apply to skin off and another really cool trick I'm gonna show you with salmon, but first let's get to that skin off. I've got a nice fresh filet of halibut here. The skin is already removed and you can ask your fishmonger at Heinen's to remove the skin if you'd like, they're total experts. You can essentially remove the skin off any fish, but specifically fish like tuna, swordfish, and monkfish, they're not great fish to keep the skin on with, so I recommend removing it. Now we're going through the same process. We're gonna pat dry the fish. We're gonna season it well with salt and pepper. For this one, I'm gonna add ghee to a nonstick skillet once it begins to smoke on high heat. We're gonna add it skin side up. Turn the heat down to medium high, add in our butter. Again, cook for two to three minutes max. Give it a quick flip and you can baste it and finish cooking for another two to three minutes. When the fish starts to gently pull apart, we know we're done. If it's falling apart all over the place, it is way overcooked. Set it to the side. And now for salmon, you can absolutely cook it and serve it skin side on. I'm not a huge salmon skin fan. If you are totally cool, but I'm gonna show you a really quick trick on how to remove it without actually filleting it with a knife. You know the process at this point, let's pat it dry. Let's season it really well with salt and pepper. No scoring though this time. I'm gonna add some olive oil to a cast iron skillet on high heat. Once it smokes, we're adding in the salmon skin side down. I'm gonna cook it for two to three minutes, give it a quick shake, just like the other fish, so that it gently releases from that pan. Let's flip it over, grab your tongs, and just pull that skin all the way off. It will come off with ease. I love doing this trick, and so will you. We'll finish cooking it for two to three minutes. Again, you can baste if you want, and it's totally cool to serve salmon medium to medium well. This process has worked for me for honestly over 20 years. It is foolproof, it works every single time. I cannot say that enough. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I've got a lot of fish to eat. See you next time.